Chigumi. It's May 4, Tuesday. Yes. Yes. Know what today is? It's bulk day number one. My fireplace is a little crooked here. There we go. Let's go out to the garage. I hung up my hummingbird feeder. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's kind of a rainy day again today. So I put this stuff up here between the house and the garage to block off all this. Look at all that I got. It's all sheet metal in there. Good nice pile. Got a snowman, a bunch of reindeer, a little uh, thing for pots to put on. Stuff on top of the refrigerator. We walk in the garage. Kaboom, look at that. Not one, and not two, but a three. Three dishwashers. Uh, got some aluminum here, and uh, a couple radiators. Got some brass to a, a hose, brass fitting. And uh, I did find a box spring today, but it was cut in half, I guess, so the person can carry it down to the road. But it just so happens the slats going across were just the size I need, and the one that they cut is, is not, they didn't cut too short. So I got the box spring all broken down. There you go, and I should have enough slats to finish the wall by the sink and start another wall. I'm not sure yet. And I got all this stuff. Not quite as much as last month. Got a chair that's got some cast aluminum on it. A fireplace green. Got four, uh, uh, three box fans and that round fan over there. There's a vacuum cleaner here. There's another vacuum cleaner here. Got some nice uh, cast, cast aluminum. There's a bunch of uh, a box of stuff here. Parts to a circular saw. And uh, see that? Some doorknobs in there too. There's a like a stool thing. And I got this. Here, I brought home. Oh, this would be nice to hang that up. Look at that. It's got a bunch of fittings in there for like a Dremel tool. There's a bunch of uh, um, drill bits, small drill bits in there. A bunch of odds and ends for like a Dremel tool. That'd be kind of nice to, I don't know, we keep the bits and pieces in there anyway. It's an aluminum chair. Got the uh, um, these wood pieces. I might be able to use from my truck. I, I'm thinking about putting walls back, putting walls on that truck. I had walls on my side walls on my last truck, but not this one. Another chair here. I got got some nice cast aluminum on it, and that eh, part goes to it there. Um, there's a metal pole in there, and. Uh, Look, I got uh, some Christmas lights there. Walk out back here. Again, we can see this stuff from this side that I'm hiding. Got a big old metal pole down there. Some other pieces of metal back there. Curtain rods and such. And we walk back here. Some stuff I threw back here already. See this? There's a push lawnmower over there, I got. There's a, a dolly right there, that thing. I got that saucer thing there. Um, some other bits and pieces in there. So, okay, yeah, there's a lot of scrappers out and you know, you can pick up all the barbecues that you can find and pile them in there. But I'll tell you what. 
this is all number one insulated copper here on these dishwashers once you strip them all out I get more for that than you will for your uh, barbecues I'll tell you like it is right now now oh uh, where did it go oh I got a bucket of stuff here smalls that broke down nice little uh, case there I might hold on to that uh, this thing here is a couple uh, wheels from that dolly and the thing I want to show well I got a TV too today and it was a good size one and the uh, somebody had cut the cord already but they didn't get inside of it and this is all copper these are copper you know some other bits and pieces in there now Go back in the house, and I mean, all this is a great find, but I found something today, still in the package actually, brand new. And, uh, Oscar, you're not peeing on your blanket, are you? Okay, so anyway, um, in the bathroom, so. Yeah, those slats that I got shut that off. should be enough, I think, to finish this here. It should be enough to finish that there, I think. And I might be able to find a piece or two to start over in that area, back in there. But now, you know, I was using... A vice grip on this crank here thinking well uh, I gotta find a crank you know I gotta find a crank and lo and behold today and all those little things I found look what I found nice gold one too and this part the one that was this was the on there on the here not this one but another one and uh well that one don't fit that's okay. I can always paint the other one. It was gray, but that's not really as big of a deal as this. This thing fits perfect. Look at that. That is just wonderful, man. Hot dog. Hot dog. I mean, I could even leave this like this, but I think the, the other one that, that does fit on there, which is gray, I could always paint that like a gold color. Ah, I'm so glad to find that though. That crank. I should put that back on. So I might have to crank these windows open tomorrow. Even though we got uh, cold weather moving in here. Yeah. So. Yeah. I took that uh, neon clock down. And uh, when my new one comes, it's going to go up here. I think it's going to look nice up there. So. Yeah. I don't know when I'll be able to get at this because I want to uh, get that scrap and I'll have to go back out tomorrow and see if there's any more scrap down the roads, which there might be. So, did good today. I, I did good. I did good. Good, good, good. I was just looking over there and it's like, where's my tablet? <laughs> it's in my hand. So I could take these vice grips back out to the garage now. Don't have to use those for the crank anymore. Okay, well, I'm going to call it a day now. And uh, tomorrow's another day. Uh, get cracking on that stuff in the garage. So things are looking good. Well, yeah, I'm going to go around a little bit tomorrow and look around. And then, yeah, things are looking good here for the month, the merry, merry month of May. Ooh.